Hey friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. What? No, holy cow can't be here right now. Uh, he's kind of tied up, but you know what I mean. Actually, he's getting all ready because school is starting back this week. So he's getting a good night's sleep and he's uh, eating right. And we're just trying to make it so he has a good uh, next part of the school year. But I brought something with me today, a mousetrap. You ever seen one of these? If they're set, you don't want to get your finger in there. You will say, ouch. Uh, I think that might be what the mouse says when they get stuck in one of these. They don't say, ouch. They go, oh, I don't get to eat the cheese now. But I don't use cheese when I set a trap. In fact, if you'll notice, there's a piece of string on the end of this. I put my peanut butter on there because mice like peanut butter better than cheese. And when they go to, the, because of their nature, they like to chew on things. And when they start to chew on the string, bam, it gets them and they are gone. Well, our enemy, Satan, he wants to put us in a trap. He's already set the trap. By, and, and to set this, you pull the spring back and you hook the little hook in the, in the trigger and it's ready to go. But after you put the peanut butter on there, of course. But, oh, I don't want to get stuck in this trap because I would have to say, ouch. Yeah, real big ouch. You know, I'm reminded how that in the beginning of the Bible, there was a man and a woman by the name of Adam and Eve. And Satan, the same enemy that we have, came to Eve and says, hey, here's some fruit. Why don't you eat it? And she says, God said not to do that. And she even offered it. She touched it and God said, don't even touch it. But she gave in to the temptation and the spring was stuck. The trap went off and she was trapped. Adam was trapped. They sinned against God. The Bible tells us, Jesus said, the thief, Satan, comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life. We're going to face temptations. We're going to face times where we know we should do the right thing, but we choose to do the wrong thing. And when we do, God is faithful. He always gives us a way to get out. He gives us a way to say, that's not for me. I'm leaving on that. And we get away from the trap because Satan wants to destroy us. We need to be willing and ready to find his traps. How do we do that? By spending time in God's word and listening to what we hear in church and making the choice to do what is right. That will protect us from the traps that the enemy is setting all around us. Watch out for his bait. Some of his bait is just that we get offended. When we get hurt by what somebody else says or does, we're stuck in one of Satan's traps. So let's avoid that. And remember, the most important thing that is said about us is what God says about us. And what God says about us is, I love you. And I guess maybe that's what you need to hear from me as well. I love you and God loves you and there is nothing you can do about it. So for today, you all take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.